Good evening students, this is Mr. Strom. I'm going to make a short video to help you out with uh, activity 4.1G model creation in PLTW. And I'm going to give you a brief uh, tutorial here on how to get started with the procedure for number one and also show you how to change units and verify um, the physical properties of your new part. So as we begin, we're going to pull up Inventor. You're going to select New Part. We'll let it load here. After your new part loads, the best plane for you to work off of, we're going to look directly off the activity sheet. And if you go up here to start 2D sketch, then we're going to click the XY plane. The XY plane is the best plane for us because you can see the isometric view and the activity will match up to this plane. So once we've select, selected our XY plane, we can go up to rectangle. We're going to select our rectangle command, click off here in space. It doesn't really matter as long as you're not on that origin point. And looking at our document, we know for the bottom section that our total length will be four inches. So we'll type four at the bottom, select tab, and that'll get us to our vertical height, which in our drawing, it looks like it needs to be 1.5 inches. We'll then hit enter and we have our square here if I zoom out and this is going to be, or excuse me, rectangle. Uh, this is going to be our base product. From here we're going to select 3D model. Go ahead and select extrude. I'll back out again for you. Now looking at our activity sheet we notice that the entire width of this part will be 2.5 inches. What I would suggest is you change to direction 2 so that we continue to have this open first sketch. And I'll select OK once we have 2.5. Pretty straightforward. We have a rectangle to start off. Our next step here is going to be to subtract uh, extrude so to speak or cut off this beginning face that we have drawn. So we're going to start a 2D sketch, select our front face, we're going to select project geometry up here on the top on your taskbar, and we're going to just select that entire face. Now if you scroll your cursor off, you noticed it turned yellow around our feature that we've drawn, which is good. From there you're going to select point at the top on your taskbar. You're going to bring it down to the bottom line and it doesn't matter where along this line you select it as long as it is on this line. So I'm going to select just off to the right here on this line. From there we're going to hit escape and this will get us off our point command. Go up to the top where it says dimension in big letters. We're going to click dimension. You're going to go down to your point. Now make sure you just get your point and not this line below here. And once you have your point, go to your left slightly, select the vertical line, click once. And if I scroll my cursor over to the right just a tad, you see that the point 5 appears. And that's what we're looking for here. If you want to pull it down and click one more time, it'll give you the option to change this uh, distance here. Um, but looking back at the blueprint, it shows us that it needs to be 0.5, so we'll just keep it at 0.5 and hit enter. Now that we've our point is in the correct position, what I want you to do is go up to the top to your taskbar again and select your rectangle command. Once you have your rectangle command, we're going to go down here to our point and make sure that little green slash bigger black dot uh, is illuminated. You're going to click once, 
pull out your rectangle a ways so that we can redimension. And if we look on our sheet, it's going to show us that our length needs to be inside that four inches. And if you look, it's noted there's a half an inch on each side. Um, so it's equally spaced. So if you take four minus a half minus a half, you're going to get three inches. So we'll make our length three inches. We'll hit tab again. And we need to get our height. Now it looks like our height here is going to be a point five or a half an inch. So we'll change that to point five. Select enter. And we see we have enough another rectangle here inside of the first larger rectangle that we've drawn. What we're going to do is go up to 3D model next and hit extrude. And if you're not getting a preview such as now, it doesn't know what you're trying to extrude. So we need to click that smaller rectangle inside the larger one. And if you notice by default, it's going to have you extrude another projected part but what we want to do is go to this dialog box and the second box kind of in the middle there is going to be cut and we want to select cut and make sure our distance is at least 2.5 or two and a half inches and that's going to go all the way through our part and hopefully you'll see uh, this little preview if you don't make sure this glasses on the bottom is enabled um, that's your preview feature go ahead and hit OK and we have now subtracted uh, an entity or an extrude and that's how so far we have the bottom portion pretty much of the first part on this activity The next thing you can do, I'll get you started on the next part before the next video. If you go ahead and select Start 2D Sketch and you collect the, excuse me, click the right side of your part, it's going to reorient it so it's in focus. We're going to use points again. Now, if you go up here, you're going to click Point. Just place your point somewhere in the big gray box doesn't really matter where because we're going to dimension it next so go to the top and click general dimension again click your point click your top face and if you bring my computer loads looks like it's not going to let's go up and hit project geometry before we dimension so we're going to click that and note that a yellow box again hit dimension now click your point again click the top of your box there we go and our dimension popped up now if you click again we can change that dimension and mine says 0.5 for now but yours might say something different and if you look at your blueprint it's going to show that needs excuse me needs to be 0.75 from the top of this line so we're going to hit 0.75, enter, and it snaps it down to 0.75. Now we're going to dimension it from the left. So if you click your point, make sure it still says dimension at the top. If you click point and your vertical uh, left line there, we notice that we can click and change this dimension. Now what it's showing is it's showing 0.5 or half an inch, so we'll change that and hit enter. So now you have this point all squared up where it's going to be the top edge of this extruded rectangle. So now we're going to go up to rectangle, we're going to select our point and just drag it off a little so we can change these dimensions. Now mine's highlighted. Uh, for the length and it looks like our length needs to be 1.5 so I'm going to change that from 
0.18 to 1.5. I'm going to hit tab. We're going to go to our vertical measurement and that appears to be 0.25. So I'm going to change 0.438 to 0.25 and hit enter. Now we have the rectangle on the side. What we can do is we can hit 3D model tab at the top, extrude, and it's not going to preview it so I need to select that inside little rectangle. Now 2.5 is way too long for this dimension. If we look on our blueprint, it's going to show that it just needs to be 0.75. So we're going to change this 2.5 to 0.75 and hit enter. So now you see that we have our second addition extrusion to our part. Last but not least, we're going to create our final extrusion, which is going to be an addition on top of this top face. So if you want to select 2D sketch, our top face, we'll get it into focus here. We're going to select project geometry and our top face so it turns yellow. Our next step is to grab a point and we're going to place our point on this top horizontal line. Doesn't matter where because we're going to redimension it so I'm going to put it out of ways here but just ensure that's on that top line. We're next going to hit dimension, select our point and we're just going to dimension it to this left horizontal line. Click once and the dimension it calls out for is it says it's evenly spaced on each side an inch from the edge. So if we change 1.18 to 1 inch, hit enter, it's going to snap our point 1 inch from the edge. Our next step is similar to the others in the fact that we're going to grab our rectangle command at the top, select our point, make sure it turns green or a bigger black dot, select it, drop it down, and our total length it says here is going to be 2 inches, so if we change 1.87 to 2 inches, hit tab, change our vertical distance we know it's two and a half inches thick or wide so we're going to change our height to 2.5 hit enter we see it's create, created another rectangle from here just like with the others you're going to go to the 3d model tab select extrude make sure your center rectangle that we just drew is selected and then saying the height on this is one inch so we're going to change our 0.75 to one inch hit enter and our part is complete make sure you go up to the eye in the corner top left click save as and find a place where you can save this so you won't forget it. And what I would do for a file name is I'd put 4.1G and then behind that part 1. And I'm going to save this to my jump drive here which is already in. Very good. And hit save. So we're going to ensure that this saves.